you have to become your own advocate for meditation. Like meditation is something that God gonna leave that in your court. It's gonna be in your ball. The ball gonna be in your court. There are certain sides of your own personal self. Your soul is the garden that God gonna let you have authority and stewardship over. You will know how well you're stewarding your garden by your momentum. Momentum speaks volumes of proper management. Momentum is a revelation of wisdom. That's how that you know that you're in wisdom because of strength. Strength is a mentality. Strength is not a decision. Strength is a mentality that becomes a decision. It's not a decision. It's a mentality that becomes a decision. Strength is a mindset. It's a mindset of endurance. It's a mindset of continuance. Endurance is how you respect the anointing that God gave you. Endurance is how you value uh, impartation. Impartation is God giving you added strength. Revelation is God showing you the strength you already have. Impartation is God giving you new knowledge. Revelation is God just reminding you of the knowledge you already have. An uh, impartation is something that comes to you. A revelation is God uncovering what was already in you. Saul already had in him a king. Samuel gave him kingship. Samuel showed him the instructions of kings. Mindsets of kings. The pattern of kings. You already have certain abilities already inside of you. A wise man brings the full fruition of that into manifestation. Peter had fissures uh, uh, of men inside of him, but King Jesus led him down the fissure of men path. Mary Magdalene had deliverance from seven devils, but King Jesus brought her through the deliverance of seven devils path. Legion had a worshiper in him, but King Jesus has to come in front of him. And then the Bible said he bows down in worship. Presence, presence, presence. The presence of Jesus has to come through a man on earth. The body of Christ. Presence, a physical presence, a physical embodiment. Imagine Legion while he's tearing himself and he's breaking Every chain. <laughs> Could you imagine Legion was breaking chains in the natural, but was living in chains in the mental? Think about that. He was a chain breaker according to the natural, but he was a chain slave according to the mental. Your mentality It snitches on you on how well you have paid attention. Your mentality. Your mentality. Your mentality. Jesus paid the price for you to pay attention. Jesus paid the price for you to pay attention. Jesus bought your focus. He bought your attentiveness. Concentration was... I want to say it was a compensation from Christ. Concentration was a compensation from Christ. <laughs> so the Lord bought your mindset. The mind of Christ was a payment that he already paid for and gave it to you. You locate the brain of Christ every day. You locate the brain of Christ in a trial. Pressure is where God surrounds you to release what's already in you. Pressure. 
Pressure. You ever heard of a pressure cooker? A pressure cooker. People won't mess up the pressure cooker and won't put pig feet inside there. We don't want to taste no pig feet. <laughs> Do you know what pig feet is? It's a pig. Come on now. It's a pig feet. All right? So that's his foots. All the doo-doo that the pig done stepped in. <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 is pig feet. You won't mess up the pressure cooking and put some pig feet up in there. We don't want no pig feet. Well, Thompson, one time, Thompson, you want some pig back? Uh, I don't want no pig back, no pig fat, no pig feet. I don't want none of that. I don't want another pig. Get, get him in the pig. Get him, him downstairs. <laughs> Daniel discovered his purchased mind. Joseph discovered his purchased mind. Why do you think Joseph refused to be in a prison mentally, though he was in a prison naturally? Imagine that he experienced divine promotion and satanic commotion. Have you ever thought about that? That Joseph was experiencing divine promotion and satanic commotion. Training your mouth. Training your mouth to release the power of God in the mind. Training your mouth to release the power of Jesus in your mind. You can talk yourself into any atmosphere that you desire. A new season doesn't come from a shift in geography. A new season comes from from the shift in abilities. When Jesus stepped into his ministry, his ability changed. When Esther stepped into her new season, her ability changed. The natural is the last evidence of a new season. You got to write that down. These are, this is a wisdom door here. It's a wisdom door explosion. You got to remember that last one, that the natural realm is the last evidence of a new season. The man with the infirmity for 38 years was in a new season while he had this infirmity because Jesus was standing in front of him. And King Jesus was showing him not a shift in geography, but a shift in ability. Will thou be made whole? How will you use your will differently? Your soul. Your will, your mind, your decision making. When your decision change, your season change. Your season is a servant to your submission. Your season is a servant to your submission. Your season is a servant to your submission. Become very vigilant about what you let come inside of you, what you let around you. Your company is deciding your consciousness. Your consciousness is magnifying what you're aware of. Your consciousness is going to influence your next stream of decision making. Your consciousness is deciding your insecurity or is deciding your boldness. Your company is deciding your consciousness. King Jesus didn't want to be around Philip when he went to uh, heal Jairus' daughter. He wanted to be around Peter, James, and John. Because your company is deciding your consciousness. King Jesus didn't want to be around Thomas all the time. When he, ro when he rose from the dead, he didn't want to see Thomas first. He wanted to see Mary Magdalene. He wanted to see a company that could unlock the consciousness that he desired. He didn't want to stand before someone said, if you really Jesus, I need to see the whole thing. He didn't want to see that. You see what I'm saying? Your, your company is deciding your consciousness. That's why you get around certain people, you get knowledge of certain type of sins. Electric cigarettes. <laughs> Blessed be God. 
Look at our young people today. Look at our generation. They don't even know how to clean their acidness, acidities. And they up there smoking a electric cigarette. What has this world become? When a house set on fire, everybody trying to run out the house so that they don't inhale the smoke. But there's people smoking. Check your IQ level. The mentality of Jesus was inside of John. That's why he stood at the cross. That's how he was able to pit his head in Jesus' bosom because he had the mentality of King Jesus. When you have the mentality of King Jesus, your intimacy is beyond natural. It is, it is, a, it is a, a, a telepathic flow of communication. Praying without ceasing is a telepathic flow of communication. When you pray without ceasing, you're constantly talking to God in your mind. Your mind is constantly hearing from God. The person that waits for God to talk is better than the person that does what they think God is talking about. The person that waits. The weapon of waiting is to receive accuracy with God. The weapon of waiting is to receive divine instructions. Waiting is seduces God's instructions. Waiting seduces God's desire to talk to you. Your waiting is like a lap dance that arouses God's anointing, his form of communication, his dialogue. If you don't receive God's dialogue, you will die on a log. 